Coming up, PlayStation seems to be launching a new service similar to Xbox Game Pass, EA wants to build a connected Battlefield universe in the future, and new details on Bioshock 4. After a huge success of Microsoft Xbox Game Pass, Sony wants to compete with Microsoft by bringing their own service. This report is coming from Jason Scryer of Bloomberg. According to the article, the service code name is Spartacus and it will allow PlayStation players to pay a monthly fee to play a catalog of modern as well as classic video games. This offering will be available in PlayStation 4 and also PlayStation 5. The launch is expected to be in spring of 2022 and will be merging PlayStation Plus and PlayStation Now. At the moment, PlayStation Plus is used for most online video games as well as it gives some free games in a monthly basis. And PlayStation Now is a way that you can stream games from older generation including PS4 and PS3. According to some documents reviewed by Bloomberg, it mentions that it will have a three-tier service. The first will include PlayStation Plus benefits, the second one will offer a large catalog of PS4 and eventually PS5 video games, while the third will offer extended demos, game streaming and a library of classic games from PS3, PS2 and even PSP. Even though PlayStation have been selling a lot of consoles as compared to the Xbox console, obviously because of the exclusive offer that PlayStation gives, but at the same time, PlayStation or Sony is way below when it compares to Xbox or Microsoft who has their own Xbox Game Pass. Right now, Xbox Game Pass has over 18 million subscribers with a lot of games coming day one on the platform along with always, every single month, new games being added upon. Meanwhile, Sony is not doing much for their players. Their PlayStation Now just allows you to stream video games which is not a very good quality. And second, PlayStation Plus is good but if you want a video game in every month, then only that's great, otherwise not that great of a deal. So Sony seems to be going in the same direction, hoping that they can also bring in some subscriptions and a lot of players into their side because right now their competition, Xbox, is a lot lot higher and they need to do something even better to compete with them, otherwise it will be a flop. EA seems to be shaking up Battlefield franchise because the head of DICE has left the studio. Now the co-founder of Apex Legends and Titanfall, Vince Zampella, will be taking over the Battlefield franchise moving forward. Marcus Leto, co-creator of Halo and head of a new EA development studio, will helm efforts to bring world-building and narrative into Battlefield. Oscar Gabrielson, the general manager of DICE, is also leaving the studio after nearly a decade at the company. Oscar spoke to Twitter saying how it was difficult to make that decision and he will be there to support the transition over the next few months before heading out to a new adventure. He also promises that there is a lot to look forward to for Battlefield. EA has also told GameSpot that they were working to build a connected Battlefield universe at a variety of studios including DICE, Battlefield Portal Devs Ripple Effect and Marcus Leto new development team and Industrial Toys. Vince, who is taking over the Battlefield franchise, now says that the studio will continue to evolve and develop Battlefield 2042 and explore new ideas and business models. In the meantime, these studios will team up to expand upon and improve Battlefield. At the current state, Battlefield 2042 is not a very good game. A lot of people are already leaving the game altogether, asking for refunds because the game already has, as you know, a lot of negative reviews and it still is not fixed yet 100%. So it's quite interesting how a number of studios want to, you know, make a connected Battlefield universe, do not know how that is going to go and hopefully improve Battlefield 2042 at the meantime because of how things are shaking up within DICE itself. What do you think about Battlefield 2042 and do you think that the future is there with Battlefield 2042? Let me know in the comments down below. Last week, we got an info about the next Bioshock being called Bioshock Isolation. Well, this week, we got more information about the game where Colin Moriarty has talked about the game last Friday in a video. According to him, Bioshock 4 will take place during the 1960s in a fictional Antarctic city, Borealis. This game is also codenamed Parkside. Narratively, the game will be tied to the previous Bioshock games and the developer Cloud Chamber is targeting a 2022 release, as claimed by Colin. Jonathan Pelling, who was a designer on the original Bioshock as well as creative director at 2K Australia team responsible for Infinite's floating world of Columbia, is also the design director of the new Bioshock. The game's creative director is Jorge de la Plante, sorry for butchering your name, who was involved in the original Bioshock including level design, environment art and programming. Scott Sinclair, the art director of the original Bioshock and Bioshock Infinite will also be working on Bioshock 4. So it looks like a lot of members from the original team of Bioshock are working in Bioshock 4, which is always a plus. 
The first two Bioshock games happened underwater while the Bioshock Infinite happened in the skies on the floating city of Columbia. According to a job advert last year in August, it suggested that Bioshock 4 will take place in a brand new world. Another job listing published earlier this year suggested that Bioshock 4 will be an open world. I for one am very much excited about Bioshock 4 because the first three Bioshock games were really amazing. Even though Bioshock Infinite was a little bit different than the first two Bioshock games, all three of them are still really really fun. And if you haven't played those games, I would highly recommend to check them out. With the rumors of the game being open world, that's an interesting take, but I hope that the game is done right for a single player narration. We will just have to wait and see whether there will be any announcements in the Game Awards or what's gonna happen next. After almost 20 years, Matrix is coming back with its fourth movie, Matrix Resurrection. This movie is coming this very month and with that hype, there is a new rumor about a Matrix game. A new leak over on Reddit points that there will be a new Unreal Engine 5 experience called The Matrix Awakens. Could that be a Matrix game? Maybe not because it doesn't look like that to be honest because it's called Unreal Engine 5 experience which means it could just be an experience that you just get to witness. Again, not much more information has been given, so we are still confused whether it's a just an experience of a video showcase or whatever, or it's going to be a full-fledged video game. Last time we got to see a Matrix video game was The Matrix Online, which actually did not go that well because it was shut down before 5 years of its launch. It came out in 2005 and it was shut down in 2009. The game's review was kind of okay because it was not that innovative and it failed in a lot of aspects. But that was then and this is now, and in this large time gap, we had a lot of improvements in technology. So now, video games are made in such a way that a game like Matrix can definitely happen. Would you guys be interested in playing a Matrix video game? I mean, I would like to if it's done right and if it's done by a good studio. But regardless of that, what are your thoughts? Let us know in the comments below. Well, with that being said, this was all the news that I wanted to talk about in this episode of Top Gaming News. Hope you guys enjoyed this and liked it. And if you did, leave a like, comment down below what you think about this episode as well as subscribe to Gamer Connect to watch more videos every single week without fail. And I'll see you guys next time.